guys? This is Mateo's 2020 politics here. And, you know, I feel like sometimes I can have different, I have differences. There's differences between me and uh, progressives because, you know, since, since about December I've been watching um, progressive commentary channels because I got tired of, you know, CNN official news, you know, stuff like that, official news stations because they're very establishment. But I noticed that progressives sometimes are very fast to draw conclusions. Tulsi Gabbard doesn't make it to debates. Oh, it's, oh, the uh, DNC rigged it. You know, um, they're always talking about Joe Biden's brain melting out of his ears. You know, Joe Biden having this grand fall from first place. When actually, you know, yes, when he first announced, he was at 40%. He bloated up to 40%. But remember, whenever somebody announces a run, they go up and then they go a bit back down and just kind of stay there. So with Joe Biden, you know... He was at 40%, now he's in, the, he's in the early 20s, I believe it's, let's see, 21, or, um, it is 30 actually, my bad, um, he's at 30, he was at 40, what that is, this isn't some type of grand fall, he was at 40, went down to 30, and he's kind of stayed there a bit, it's been relatively steady, nothing too shaky, so you know, there's not, the progressives have to stop exaggerating, I know you don't like him, look, I don't like him either, you know, but, to say, oh yeah, you know, because the progressives were assuming that, were, oh, that oh yeah, when the moment he opens his mouth, he's going to go down to like 10%. Well, he's opened his mouth multiple times, but he's still at 30%. So, you know, I'm not, they're too quick to draw conclusions. I'm not, you know, I'm not just going to say, oh, come on, he's totally not going to win. You know, when I when Iowa rolls around, he's going to be blended into the one percenters. 1% candidates. No, he's he most likely will actually win the primaries. We have to accept it. We can't be so fast to draw conclusions. Now, this brings me to the whole Tulsi Gabbard situation. Her being, um, this, you know, it is true. 2016, the DNC was rigged. It was rigging the election. It was trying to, you know, throw dirt on Bernie. It was, you know, they, there was evidence of, um, the DNC would actually, uh, read the questions to Hillary Clinton that would be in the debates. They would just read the questions to her, so she had, like, a kind of head start. She knew what the questions would be. That's corruption, right? You know, they would also have the debates right before uh, they, uh, lots of uh, special events, like a winter break and stuff like that, so that less people would be able to watch it and see Bernie Sanders. So th th that's that's pure evidence. But, like, you know, the whole Tulsi Gabbard situation, the progressives see it as, pro progressives see it as very clear. That's right. They see it as like this. The DNC rigged the election, and they're trying to throw her out. But I see this more, I don't see this black and white. I see this more gray. Because, you know, they, the main evidence that they use for this is that, so every single poll was allowed, uh, you know, last month to, for candidates to qualify for debates. For example, uh, John Hickenlooper, oh look, Emerson has you at 1%. You're allowed to be in the debates, but now there's only like 16 polls that are allowed. All the rest aren't they aren't certified polls, and I get it. The D the suspicious part is that the DNC didn't explain why they aren't allowed. They just randomly selected this is these polls are allowed and these ones aren't. So it is a bit suspicious, you know. And if you would inc include all the polls, Tulsi Gabbard would actually have a, been invited to the next debate, you know, the. Um, the September 12th debate, the third debate, and, um, but you know who else would have been allowed? Tom Steyer. So, you can see how, th it's not like, clearly, um, the DNC is not just trying, is not saying, okay, all the progressives are out, because you have Bernie Sanders who's in, and yes, you can say, you can't, you know, you can't just say, oh, Bernie Sanders hasn't qualified, he's like one of the most popular candidates. You could mess around with Andrew Yang, you could mess around with Tulsi Gabbard, but think of it this way. The DNC left Tulsi Gabbard out, but they also left tons of corporate Democrats out. John Delaney won't be in the next debate. You know, um, Tim Ryan won't be in the next debate. Steve Bullock, all of those people. Even Tom Steyer won't be in the next debate. You know, I wouldn't call her a centrist, but Marianne Williamson won't be in the next debate either. So... You know, it's stop using the whole entire point of Tulsi Gabbard, you know, she was, uh, due to corruption, she was left out, the DNC rigged the whole thing. No, 
because tons of corporate Democrats were also left out. You know, they ch yes, it is true, they haven't said why only some polls are certified, but you have to think of it in a way that I don't think the DNC was just trying to get progressives out. I think the DNC was just trying to get the small candidates out, you know. Um, although Castro is small, but he, I guess, is big enough to make it to the next debate. So, um, you know, they were not looking for just, they weren't just trying to get establishment candidates in. They were just trying to get big candidates. They're trying to get rid of all the small guys. You know, they, I mean, the DNC must love John Delaney, but again, he's being also excluded. He's not being in the, in the debate. He's not going to be in the debate. So, you know, th these are my thoughts on the whole Tulsi Gabbard situation. I think that the liberals, rather rather specifically, the progressives, see it as too black and white. I see it as more, as more gray. Um, but, you know, thanks for watching this video, guys. And bye. Oh, I forgot to mention that damn, my computer just paused. But, yeah, I need, I need it for lighting. It is true that Tulsi Gabbard is actually polling, you know, above Julian Castro and Amy Globuchar. So... You could say, well, wait, how come she isn't allowed, but these two people are? Well, I'm sorry, but this isn't the DNC's fault. It's just the polls that they happened to choose had Castro in, had Globachar in, it didn't it didn't, didn't have Gabbard in. Guess what? It also didn't it also didn't have Delaney in, Hickenlooper in, uh Gillibrand, all these people. You know, to Ryan. So yeah, I mean, thanks for watching this video guys and bye. I'll probably make another video today. Today, I'm not really sure, but yeah.